Good evening everyone. Welcome to a new update. Uh, today it's the 28th of April. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. As some altcoins are having a wonderful day. Um, we're going to discuss uh, Bitcoin in, the, in this update. I'm going to uh, discuss the equity markets tomorrow and the commodity markets. But today we're going to discuss the Bitcoin and the approach towards the halving. Uh, which I've been doing a few times already. We're going to discuss Ethereum, we're going to discuss a link and um, a Ripple, as Ripple has been showing strength earlier today. Some other altcoins like Tron and um, um, EOS are doing the same, however EOS, Litecoin and NEO for example still have to follow um, Bitcoin and Ethereum in their moves. But at least we've got volatility and what everybody wants to see is that altcoins are moving. Um, no guarantee for anything spectacular, but uh, it's at least something, and that's why we're going to discuss some altcoins as well. First, Bitcoin. Um, I've been discussing this in the live stream yesterday. Bitcoin is pretty much still stabilizing, and I'm watching Bitcoin on the smaller time frames in which it's consolidating against the resistance or flipped a level, which is the 76 area. Um, I really want to get the 73 long or 74 long, however getting so close towards the halving I assume that there is a bias pressure from retail or at least some FOMO getting into the event, uh, which could make it happen that we don't get the long at 73, 74. Um, if we consolidate a little bit more here and get a stable day tomorrow, uh, I assume we are going to break out upwards above 78 if we clear 7778 um, I think we're just going to push towards 84 um, it's just a bullish, uh, bullish construction here as long as we remain above 76 I assume we're going to see a further move up if we lose 76 I guess we are close to being topped out um, and then I'm watching 7374 for a long um, if we find some serious strength um, we might as well still see the move to pre-halving towards 8.4 but as I've been saying in the videos previously is that once we get above 7.8 and there is still a big CME gap ready to be filled which is between 8.2 and 9 um, which suits a little bit with my scenario in which we break above 7.8 and get the FOMO pump going into the halving um, which usually ends up with a large sell-off just a few days before. Um, and that's also the one what you have seen in the history of, uh, of, the, of the previous halving. So then we get towards my main scenario in which I might expect a renewed push towards 9k as just described. And then a sell-off causing a... Uh, consolidation accumulation period after which we get another 200 week MA test and then a bullish cycle. I think we are pretty close towards the bull market if we are able to decouple from the equities market. Um, equities are showing a similar structure as Bitcoin right now and they are inside like a big bull trap or dead cat bounce I believe. So that's what we have to watch as a variable Apart from that, um, we could see stru structure like this in which we just rally towards 9k pre-halving 849k if we break 78 and then have a sell-off and some accumulation before we can really turn into the bull market. Altcoins are showing some strength lately as well, um, which I assume will continue later on in the year, um, mostly in the first quarter of next year as that's always the best period for altcoins. But uh, in the meantime, they are pretty funny to trade with. So if we come back towards uh, Bitcoin short term, um, as long as we remain above 7.6, I don't think we have to be uh, worrying about a lot. If we clear this uptrend and then bounce, make a slight bounce like this, then we might be topping out. Uh, and then I'm closing altcoin positions as well if we lose 7.6. If we remain above it and consolidate a little bit here, I'm assuming we're going to break above 7, 8 and then we can target 9k, 8, 4 and 9k at my two targets. So that's basically Bitcoin. 
if we get towards Ethereum, it's showing a similar structure in which we are just still bullish um, and still inside an uptrend since the crash. And we could see some more momentum going into Ethereum as Ethereum has flipped the 190, 198 level, uh, 89 level as support if there is a clear break south and then a rejection i'm assuming we are going to test lower levels around 167 150 um, but unless that's not happening i'm assuming we're still trending up as you can see every time there's been a pretty nice support resistance flip um, if we consolidate above here and do not break below i'm expecting a further rally towards 313 and maybe even 226 to, to 235, which I've pointed out here, which are horizontal levels to be watching, uh, which could be confluent with uh, a pump on Bitcoin. Um, you should be aware that when Bitcoin starts to rally like that, um, altcoins are getting sold off in their BTC pair, which could still trigger the USDT pair of the altcoins to move up, but significantly less than Bitcoin, especially this close to the halving, every pump on altcoins, you should be aware or take profits pretty soon, as at one point the rally on Bitcoin will start to occur and then probably altcoins are being sold in their BTC pair for Bitcoin. So if we get towards the BTC pair of Ethereum, um, it's stuck inside a range and that's not doing much, a clear break below the 24.6 level as I've marked here. And I'm going to watch for 23 for a long. If we break above, then this is the uh, main resistance area around 2.7 uh, for a potential short opportunity. Um, if we break above and are ready to watch 2.7, including Bitcoin rallying up, you should expect Ethereum to rally towards 2.25, 2.35. However, if Ethereum BTC starts to drop south, um, the maximum I'm assuming is going to be like 213 to 15. But um, at this point, I don't see many entries on uh, on Ethereum. And I'll just be watching uh, for a clear opportunity to come, especially from the BTC pair. What I want to say about the previous halving, what we have seen is that around the halving, the altcoins were doing pretty strong and just continued after the trip dipped down. So what I've been saying is that for example on xlm usdt if we get a structure in which we now see a pretty heavy rally towards the next resistance if we get another rally and get bearish divergence confirmation of resistance here and turn down the drop here and the higher low there is the opportunity you want to catch so if we get that drop down um, then two things i would like to share with you is that around here taking profit is fine as you have seen in the history and then you'd want to wait for the last time opportunity and the higher low construction. The whole market has been making lower lows as you can see, but the first thing you want to see here is a higher low. After this, the next cycle is going to be towards the next resistance levels and that's going to be rallies of serious significance of 300% in the real first alt season. Um, we should be watching. So for now, these pumps are just for selling and um, just pre-halving altcoins, people buying Bitcoin, so the altcoins can have some space as well. Um, but I'm not expecting new highs to occur and the, la the next dip down where Bitcoin retraces as well, which I still find likely. Um, I'm going to assume that that dip is the one you want to catch. And that's also going to be the dip where everybody is shouting for new lows. Um, then Chainlink, we have discussed this one in the uh, live stream yesterday and I've also shared it in the article on Cointelegraph. Finally held the support at 345 to 350, bounced up. It's a bounce of around 10%, which is nice strength. I'm assuming we might be going down for a higher low and then catch, uh, move, make a move towards the resistance area, which is similar to Tesla's right now. Um, I'm less interested in Link as it already saw a huge rally upwards. Um, the moment that link turns down or the moment when Bitcoin turns down, this one is ready to fall over even more. So I'm literally more inclined to get the, the flip of this level towards the highs 
and otherwise I'll be looking for shorts if we can't break above $4. Tezos is showing a similar structure in which we had to have a bounce at the level here, we did and now I'm looking for a higher low and if we do we could see a new rally towards, let me see what we can expect, probably $3.20, yeah that could be a series level, uh, around 310 to 320 could be the next level of resistance if we hold above 260 to 62 if you get the chance here I'll be looking for some longs here and then you can target 320 but you can see that the structure is still upwards and there's no clear signals of tops apart from short term in which you see the bearish divergence and now you'd really want to see a bearish divergence start to occur in the short term when the, when it's stopping out and then you can expect lower levels to be tested before the real rally occurs. Um, so finally I'd like to discuss Ripple. Um, the last time I made the video people were uh, saying oh yeah it's still going down and you shouldn't be buying it because this the Ripple only goes down. Ooh. Um, yeah I am not a fan of holding this coin long term. Um, as it's not uh, into my vision of where we have to go with cryptocurrency in the world. That doesn't mean that I am not allowed to make money with it. So I'm just trading it to, uh, to get more money and to increase my portfolio. It broke a small downtrend as you can see here and there's a huge downtrend coming up. Which is ready to be broken as well. Um, what I pointed out here is that I want to see a high low construction in which we just retrace a little bit in the coming few days. Uh, which is pretty much similar to what we've seen on uh, Stellar Lumen. Push up retest and then continuation or at least push up retest and then it moved very hard. And still doing pretty strong after flipping 800 Satoshis as support and when you see lumen move ripple is the next one to follow so if we get a construction in which we hold above 2600 satoshis i expect a further surge towards 3000 and 3300 satoshis and that's target points for me and then we get towards the usdt there in which we also broke above a resistance as you can see now we are consolidating and if we do a consolidation um, like this and then grind back up holding above this level over here. I'm targeting 23 cents and I'm targeting 26 cents as next levels. Alright, that's been a, an update on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink. I've discussed some about Tezos. I've discussed a bit about Stellar and Ripple. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with a video about Bitcoin and a little bit about the equity markets. And I hope uh, if you if you like the video, please uh, subscribe, do thumbs up, react. Thank you very much.